First of all, I'd like to start off by thanking everybody who looked at that um, 22 months of owning a C8 Corvette. Um, that got, uh, let me see, over 130,000 views. And uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of you that peeked into the video and took a look at it. I really, really appreciate um, you doing that. And it's my little appreciation back to you. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you uh, through my uh, process in which I picked out all the options I want for a new Z06 2023, 24, 25. I don't know when the heck I'm going to get it. But um, the dealer wanted um, my preliminary order, so I went up and put that all in and I put it all on the computer. So um, having said all that, um, at the end, by, by the time we get to the end, we're going to show you how much it costs to approximately uh, how much it costs barring any more price increases. <laughs> so let's go and do this thing. First thing you want to do is to go to the Chevrolet website, type in Chevrolet.com in your browser and hit enter. And that'll bring you the Chevrolet website. Click on vehicles, go down to the 2023 Corvette Z06, click on that. And it will show you a whole plethora of videos that are very interesting. And I'll scan through these. You can always go back to this web page and look at them. And I think they're well worth looking at. If you're any kind of a cop person, you're going to love these videos are very interesting and informative. That looks like the Z07 package on that car. Here's the engine, and they have a graphics display that is amazing. And there's several different graphic displays you can click on, and the whole engine comes apart and shows you that particular area. It's, it's, it's really well done. Three different videos with engine sounds, which the sound of this engine is amazing. Truly amazing. It's way over the top. Carbon ceramic brakes. You can order those if you want. Um, this is basically a look at the Track Edition Z06, and this is kind of like the street version. The street version of the Z06. Pretty cool. And a lot of different options you can put on there, too. Convertible. People like the nice convertible. It looks great. Another nice addition. The 70th anniversary car, half black, half white. Um, you can move the colors back and forth. I'm not sure it tells you in here what the color is of the uh, of the black. I, I don't think it's black. I think it's uh, some other dark gray or something like that. I'm not sure. Anyway, but you can look at that. Um, now you get an idea of the uh, different builds you can possibly do. There's a lot of tons of combinations. Um, and down here, there's photos. And down here, this is the first thing I wanted to get to was the three trim levels, because you have to pick a trim level that you want. 1LZ is what you see here on the left. 2LZ is what you see here in the middle, starting at 114500 This starts at 105 <clears throat> and over here on the right, there's a 3LZ, which starts at 120,145. Okay. I am picking the 2LZ, just so you know. All right. And let's go back up here to design your own. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this design your own button, and we're going to go and actually design the Z06 Corvette. Here's your opening screen. A lot of times you'll see this got it. It says click and drag to rotate. Scroll up and down to zoom in and out. So, okay, we got it. So here's the configurator for the C8 Z06. Um, as they told you, you can take your mouse, your left button on your mouse, and move it around like this, and it will move the car around like this so you can get better looks, you know, if you want to 
check everything out, you can do that. That's very, very helpful. Okay, so now we got to customize this thing. We don't want to buy it just the way it is here. We got to change it around. So there's going to be two places you can customize. One down here where it says customize, and then there's another one over here. If you see the three, if you don't see the customize, there's three little lines you'll see right over here, and go click on that, and that'll get you back into the configurator. So, all right, click customize. There's uh, two, four, six, eight. First one is your body style. It already has the coupe checked off. Got it. And so we can go back. And the next one is the interior. I'm sorry. Did I say it interior? Exterior. <laughs> and uh, there's a whole bunch of things, wings and black exhaust tips. And if you go to the next page, it's got stripes and things you can order an interior uh, engine compartment uh, extras and stuff like that. Um, there's plenty. Now down here it says previous page. I'm going to hit previous page. And the only thing I'm really selecting here, I'm, I think I can paint this one, so I'm going to leave that one alone. I'll do it myself. But this one is really, I don't know, I don't want to take all the letters off and put them back on. It's just too... I'm this one I'm going to go for. So I click that, and it's going to get a check mark right here, and this will be added to my list of options that I want to put on the car. So at the end, you'll get a list of all your options that you clicked on. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's go back. See, it only says exterior this, and I've got to go over here to these three little lines. I'm going to click that. And so we did body style, exterior, and now we're going to move over here to special edition, but that's if you just want the special edition. I'm not buying the special edition, so. But if you are buying it, there's a lot of information here for you. So, go and click on whichever one you like. Trim level. As I mentioned earlier, the 2LZ is what I want. So I'm clicking on 2LZ, and a little check mark comes right up here. Let's me know that's added to the list of add-ons, which means more money, of course, you know. Uh, so let's go back to these three little lines over here. Click that, and we did uh, trim level. Now we're up into the last four. Exterior color. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult. Um, I always love the yellow. This has a little bit too much green for me. For other people, it's fine, but uh, I like the yellow that's on the C8R Racing Corvette. That's a different yellow than this yellow. Uh, it's more yellow than greenish yellow. I guess that's the best way to put it. But anyway, I could have gone for this. It was a little more, a little less green in the color. I, I, I'd have been all over this one for sure. Uh, I always love red. Red always looks great. Here's a new color, I think, last year. When I say last year, 2019, uh, called Cafe Metallic, and uh, it looks cool. Let me just move this a little bit because, uh, yeah, that looks give you a little better view. Um, that really looks nice. So uh, those are the exterior colors I like. I also like the red mist. That always looks good. And, of course, um, the orange is spectacular, too. <laughs> I'm boring, a little bit boring here. I'm going to stay with the ceramic matrix gray metallic, which is the current color I have in my car now. Boring, you know. But I love the color. So, you know, if you don't... Stick with, your, stick with what you like, I guess. All right, so we got that done. That's exterior colors. Next is interior color, and I'm going to pick the red seats. I don't want the, the red dipped. I want the red seats. Bingo. Uh, we'll do that. That gets checked. We're going to go back. And uh, that's interior color. Uh, I'm going to go down here to seats next. And the reason I go for that is I want to put in the GT2 seats because that's going to change right up there. You can see the shape of the seats changed. And so now the next thing I'm going to look at is the performance wheels because the thing needs wheels and calipers. So I'm going to go for the red calipers and the black Z06 wheels. And then let me see if I can zoom out here. And we'll give you a look at what the car looks like now. And that's basically my build. Now, when you're all through with this, 
you can go up here to Vehicle Summary, and you can click on that, and it will give you a summary of every nice picture of your car and a summary of all the things that I ordered. Now I'm going to take all of these things that I ordered, put some numbers together, and we'll tell you what the final price is on this puppy. So here it is, the final pricing on the Z06. My specifications, and uh, you can spend a lot more. You can get it up to about 160 at least, I would think. But uh, this, this is the car that I've spec'd out for myself. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and if you like the video. And uh, leave a comment down below. What would you change? What would you not get? <laughs> There'd be a thousand different opinions, I'm sure. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.